Hey, what's up? What's up with you today? Hope that you're doing good. Are you doing good? Hallelujah. If you're not doing good, it's about to get better. It always gets better when we talk to the Lord, when we give our problems to Him and just, uh, yeah, He's amazing. That's what He wants from us, to come to Him for strength. Yeah, it's uh, Wednesday night. It's been a good day. Every day is pretty good when we spend it with the Lord. I'm on a pretty good run here. I, you know, when I, when the Lord rescued me about two and a half years ago, I don't think I've had a, I haven't had a bad day since then. It's not that bad things haven't happened. He just, he just gets, he gets me through them. I've had, you know, I've had the girl that I, that I, that I love leave me. I've had my dog die. I've had friends die. I've been in pain. You know, I've, I've seen my friends in addiction. All those things, but I got my eyes on the prize, setting my sights on the realities of heaven and, and what, what really matters, and that's, uh, that's getting people to heaven. So, uh, yeah, God is good. So, Heavenly Father, we just uh, come to you right now, Lord, just uh, grateful for you, Lord. Me and my friends right here are both uh, just so thankful for you, God, and the work that you're doing in our lives making us better, making us to be more like you, Jesus. That's the goal, imitators of you. That's what we want to do. We want to show it in our actions with the love that we have for people, Lord. We want to show them the same love that you show us, Lord, on the daily, the same forgiveness, the same mercy, the fruits of the Spirit, the gentleness and the kindness, the love. I don't know the rest, but... Well, your traits, Lord, make this. We want to be like you, Lord. We want people to see you and us when we go out. We want to be the light of the world like you told us to be. We want to let our good deeds shine out. We want other people to put their faith in you, Lord. We want to put their trust in you. We want to live a life that's attractive, that people see us and they're like, "We, I want that. That person has joy. That person has peace in their life. How did they get that? Oh, Jesus did this to me. Jesus. You need a relationship with him. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we're going to read a little bit of your word here. And just we just want you to speak to us right now, God. That's why we're here. We seek your face. We seek you, Lord, your voice. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you for your presence over there with my friend, God. Hallelujah. So uh, I went to work today. I, uh, I share about how I work with this guy. I've, I've shared about him on here a few times. He's an he's a atheist. And, uh, you know, I'm always just trying to think of what, what can I do, you know, besides just pray. I've been mean, praying, praying, not just pray, praying to just asking the Lord to change his heart. I mean, that's, that's pretty much mostly what we can do. But uh, we can also be uh, wise, you know, we can also be wise in how we approach it and gentle. You know, wise as a serpent and, and gentle as a dove, harmless as a dove, shrewd as a snake. But, um, once you uh, once you talk to once these people know that you're about Jesus and you've already asked them their beliefs, sometimes you, you just you just kind of you're pushing it. So you gotta be, you gotta be wise. If the Lord says to go in again and do something, you do it. And if you, if, if, if you can't, you're just asking the Lord, well, what can I do? And, and that's what I was doing today as I was working. I just you know. I talk to the Holy Spirit. He's right there. Holy Spirit, what should we do? You know, what, what should we do right now? And, and uh, I just heard him say, "Whatever you do, uh, in word or deed, do it. In, do it in my name." Colossians three seventeen. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So that means to do everything in the nature of Jesus. You know, imitate Jesus. Like I said, the fruits of the Spirit. And, uh, you know, the, 
the guy already knows that, that I'm about Jesus. I shared that I have a ministry and I've asked him about the Lord and I'm constantly just, just bringing up what I'm doing. I'm not forcing anything on, on him. Um, he, he's, he's already heard the, heard the message you know, and, and everything. So, um, so that's what the Lord told me. Um, let every here. This is a good one. This is it in the uh, Passion Translation, uh, Colossians three seventeen. Let every activity of your lives and every word that comes from your lips be drenched with the beauty of our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, and bring your constant praise to God the Father because of what Christ has done for you. So, but it's uh, like I was saying in the in the prayer, we need to live a life that's attractive. You know, we need to we need to back up. You know, I'm a I'm a follower of Jesus. Now we got to follow it up with with the actions. I think it's important that they know that that's where that's coming from. But it's doing it in my disservice. You know, if you say, "Oh, I'm a Christian," and then you go act like a jerk or you're not a hard worker, but but yeah, when I'm working for him, I can be a hard worker. You know, I can be real real um, meek or you know, kind of uh, humble. All those things I can, I can, um, you know, just just being gentle and kind and a hard worker and a servant and all those things. Take off your shoes when you go in the house. Be polite, please, and thank you. Here's your money. Are you sure? You know, is it, are you sure we didn't really work that 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 half hour? You know, and, and um, we can do all those things just to just to represent Christ to the fullest. We're we're ambassadors for Him. And we're, we're a royal priesthood, and we, we represent Jesus, and uh, we want we want to do it well. So, um, John uh, thirteen thirty five. That's a big verse right there. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. That's the best way we can show it. You know, even if we don't say anything, um, we can show love. That's number one. That's the number one thing we can do is show love. Yeah, if I go in there and say I'm a landscaper, but I don't landscape, you know, but I can't landscape, it's, you know, I got to go in there and prove that I'm a landscaper. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Uh, that's Paul talking in Ephesians uh, 4, 1 and 2. being about it, not, not just talking about it. You've heard that thing, a lion doesn't have to tell everybody he's a lion, you know, he's just a lion. Be imitators of God in everything you do, for then you will represent your father as his beloved sons and daughters, and continue to walk surrendered to the extravagant love of Christ, for he surrendered his life as a sacrifice for us. His great love for us was pleasing to God like an aroma of adoration a sweet healing fragrance and have nothing to do with sexual immorality, lust or greed for you are his holy ones and let no one be able to accuse you of them in any form. Guard your speech for sake of obscenities and worthless insults. These are nonsensical words that bring disgrace and are unnecessary. Instead, let worship fill your heart and spill out in your words. Let worship spill out in your words. That's the passage translation in Ephesians 5, uh, 1 through 4. So, it's not only what we're doing, but it's not what it's what we're not doing. You know how guys talk; they talk about all kinds of things, and um, yeah, we're not to take part in, in any kind of jokes or anything like that. When, when when they come our way, we don't we don't laugh about them. I mean, we certainly don't make a make a scene like like try to call anyone out or anything. But, but just you know, you got to be wise with that. You know, don't talk about you know. We can't be claiming Jesus while we're talking about having sex here and there, or this, making dirty jokes and and, uh, and greed. Obviously, you know this is pretty. We know not to do these things. So, but yeah, we're representing Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, that we get to represent you, that we get to tell people about your goodness, that we get to spread the gospel, Lord, that we were chosen. And we just want to represent you. We're ambassadors. We want to do it in the best way possible. You're making your appeal to others through us, and we don't want to mess that up, God. We're the vessel that you're using to touch these people's lives. We want to be available. We want to listen to you, Lord, listen to your voice. And when it's time to speak, we speak. When it's time to act, we act. But we're going to show love, God. We're going to show the same love that you show us, Lord, every day. Help us to help us to reach the lost, Lord. That's what we want to do. We want to do more. We want more opportunities. Just bless my friends right here in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Take care.